What's up, people? It's your boy Blue here for the Aftercast. I'm here with old Ninja. Yep. Once got, again. Yeah, we got done doing some fucking fire. Fire. Yeah, mm. Oh, someone's backing up. Oh, I thought I thought there was a fucking fire. <laughs> right when he says fire, yeah. we see red light. Like oh, light shit. up the street. You think the blue and was it blue and white? Blue and red. The cops. Something like that. Oh, popo, popo, fabo. Where the hell is this fucking box lady? She should be out. Are you? It's too cold, bro. Oh, actually, no, not, it's today, actually not tonight. Not tonight. That was nice. That's funny. People are like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" If yeah. you watch after the cash, when we first started doing this, you would know yeah. there's a chick collecting cans. She has like a fucking limo fucking basket thing going on. Yeah, but she's like kind of like creepy because she looks like she belongs in the Grudge or some shit. Yeah. Speaking oh. of Grudge, we fucking saw that trailer, which looks fucking good as fuck because I like the creepy. I like the Grudge and um, the Grudge and the Ring movies are really good. Yeah. Well, I actually like the American version of the Ring. I've never seen. The Japanese version of the Ring or the Grudge or Juwan, I guess it's called. Juwan. Yeah, but the American version of the Ring, the first one was fucking dope. Second one was okay, but the first one, one was fucking dope. There, the third one they were gonna do, but the second one didn't do as good. Yeah. And uh, because like, the second one takes wait, the second one takes place. No, there was a oh, there was a third one of the Grudge. Yeah, didn't it happen in like New York or some shit with like her sister or some bullshit? I know there's two grudges. I've seen two grudges. Yeah, I guess the second one was that way. But the second ring, they like, she comes back or whatever. Yeah. They do more investigating about her. I think they try to free her soul or some shit. Well, they freed in her first one, which was a bad idea. Oh, yeah. They figured to go off But then they try to release her. The second one had Sissy Spacey. Mm, Yeah. Because Naomi Watts' mom in the movie, which was crazy. That was actually a creepy fucking movie. Well, it wasn't as creepy as the first one. The first one was fucked up. So, well, I have a, a funny story. In um, the first ring, like, back when it was, it, like, they were showing commercials and shit for it. Like, I used to, like, fall asleep with the TV on. And I had, I was dreaming that I was in the ring. And, like, I fucking woke up all fucking scared and shit. And right when I opened my eyes, it was a fucking well scene. Oh. Coming out of the well. And it was on my fucking TV. That's awesome. I was so fucking scared. It scared the shit out of me. Like, I, I felt my whole body, like... Go numb from like or get, get fucking chills and shit like that. I was hella fucking scared. That's and then awesome. it showed it was a commercial. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> That's awesome. Because she was literally was chasing me in my dreams, and for me to wake up and see her fucking there, that shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, she crawls out of the well and shit. And mm. All kinds of fucked up. You know what's funny is that like, I get I heard an urban legend or whatever that like people don't name their kid after the chick in uh, the ring, Samara or whatever. Oh uh, yeah. But I guess like someone famous or something? I know, I've known people that have named their kid that. Yeah. Which well, that, is creepy. That girl who played Samira, or Samira, Samira in uh, The Ring, um, she actually, she was the voice of, uh, of Lilo in Lilo and Stitch. That's hilarious. Yeah, which is kind of funny. But yeah, she is all grown up and she's a bull man. Yeah, apparently she's fine or something. Yeah, she's, she's fine. As I'm fine. sure someone did some RPMs to her by now. Yeah. It's kind of foul, but... <laughs> that's all, man. She was creepy. She yeah, was creepy that's, dude. The character. ring, the ring was the ring in the Conjuring. Now, Matt from Prurek Live, he was talking about how he did. He watches a lot of horror. I watch a lot of horror. Yeah, actually, too. I grew up with a lot of horror and shit. So, oh, we about to die. We almost died again. I had the green light, so fuck him. Mm. Fuck up out the way. So, uh, anyway, we almost died again. Yeah, every like every every, every other crew. podcast, every <laughs> other after the cast, we almost died. Yeah, there's always some fucking shit happening. Yeah, so oh, obviously oh, the freaks come out at night. For real, that is the truth. Mm. That is the clean truth. <laughs> but uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Uh, you're talking about Conjuring and the ring. Yeah, the Matt. We're talking about Matt from Pre-Rank. So yeah. he's talking about how he watched a lot of horror and he felt like the Conjuring wasn't all that great. I thought the Conjuring was great. I have to agree with him. Uh, I thought The Conjuring was great mainly because of the history of the two characters because those two people were real people they experienced a lot of shit they do have that museum or whatnot. Uh, a friend of mine he was uh, obsessed with their stories so that's why for me I thought The Conjuring was really good because I thought it had a great story and a lot of that shit happened to these people Yeah, I guess according to them yeah the only problem I had with it was it, it wasn't too scary it's the only scene that was really scary is the scene where the little girl where she tries to go down into the basement that and it starts getting scary. fucking dark. Uh, that shit was scary. That reminded me of fucking uh, Event Horizon. Uh, that one scene when he's in the fucking uh, the vents or some shit and the lights start going out. 
That shit was fucking scary. Event Horizon was just glory. I didn't think it was scary. A lot of people praise that. Well, that was the only part of scary in Event Horizon. Uh, I guess. But uh, for I'm me, the scary, the part that got me in The Conjuring was the maid, where like he follows, you follow the maid one way and she pops out another way. Oh uh, yeah. And she's at the was when she's at the clothesline and shit. That shit, and she's all bloody and shit. You know what horror movie was really bad is. Uh, Oh god. Uh sl- not Slender Man. Was it Slender Man? No. Oh the Tall Man? Slider. No, what? fuck. It was the one where like the kids, like the it had um God, I can't get that fucking guy's name. Basically it was his dad and he was writing about a book about a family that got murdered and like the dad they thought the dad was Sinister. Him. Sinister, that's what it's called. Yeah. The first one was uh eh, it was alright because they had Ethan Hawk in it. Yeah, Ethan Hawk was in it. The second one was dog shit. I hate it. It was so fucking bad. It was so fucking good. It was garbage. It didn't even make sense. Like, it didn't even tie into the first one. There was no fucking... Uh, I hated that movie. It was dumb as fuck. All the characters were different. I mean, obviously, the yeah, family had died in the first one. Yeah. But, like, there's no, like... There, there was no tie-in. I was not happy with the first Sinister at all. Which made me not want to watch the second one at all. Like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, the second one. Yeah. Uh, the first one was barely passable. It was, yeah. like, for me to give, like, okay... And I saw that in the theater. I mean, I saw it... The second one? No, I saw the first one. I saw both of them on video. No, oh, I saw the first one in the theater. Because my cousin really wanted to go. I'm like, fine, we'll fucking go. And I was like, dude, is this going to get, like, creepy or whatever? There was, like, one creepy scene. Yeah. And I laughed. I was like, this is fucking funny. I guess if you weren't paying attention, this is creepy, but... You know what, um... A movie, Scary Movie, that was really good. It wasn't really scary, but, um... The Orphan. The Orphanage? The Orphanage. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, I that own that movie too. and I still, I've never watched all oh, of it. Oh man, that's really good. I've I seen the first Spanish. 10 minutes. It is. Yeah. I think that's a Get Em Little Tall movie. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. really fucking good. So I've never fucking seen it. I've, I've seen, I can't, I've only seen 10 minutes. Because every time I try watching it, people were talking and shit. Mm. Fuck. That's one of those movies where if somebody told you how it ended, you'd be fucking mad because that's like a huge fucking spoiler. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I haven't seen it. You know what I heard? I heard Crimson Peak was a good movie. Oh, yeah. So I, I haven't seen that. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. I want to, though. Damn it. So, did you see Agent Carter? No, I, I, I thought it was two hours long and I just haven't had yeah, time to watch see, it. Yeah, see, I warned you before I am. Well, dude, this is a two-hour episode. Well, last week was two hours, too. Yeah, but it? this this yesterday was two hours also. Uh, yeah. So, I, it was back-to-back doubled up. So I'm probably gonna watch Agent Carter tonight, and I'm gonna watch Arrow tonight for sure. Yeah, same here. Oh, I can't wait for fucking Vixen! Vixen's gonna be fucking dope on Arrow. I'm really excited about fucking the future where they show, uh... In, oh, uh, that's on Legends of Tomorrow! Legends of Tomorrow. That's we tomorrow. get to see fucking Oliver with his whole fucking signature goatee going yep. on. And we see Deathstroke again. Mm. That's gonna be fucking the shit. And that's we see Connor cool. Hawk. Yeah. That's gonna be the shit. Cause we ended with him shooting at them. At the team from uh, Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, also on the Flash next week, we get to see another fucking speedster. Oh, the, the female. Yeah. So I f- believe that speedster is Wells' daughter. Because in the oh, comic, in yeah. the comic, she's a speedster. That is true. So we're gonna see a female speedster. I totally forgot. Uh, on Supergirl, I'm excited Wait, about it? because we're gonna see fucking Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, I'm fucking excited for that shit. When is um, what was the name? Laura Von Vonler. Next week. The next week? Yeah, oh, she okay. appears on next week. Oh, that's right. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's on next week. And is she Brainiac? Huh? Is she Brainiac? Because uh, she had the three dots on her head when they I showed her. I have no fucking idea. That would be crazy because mm. apparently Brainiac can make whatever body he wants. Yeah. So, which would be weird because Brainiac is a Superman villain. And I think they should save him for like Justice League yeah. or some other shit. But this is different from the movie. So the TV series... So I think they're prepping us for a Justice League TV show. I hope so. Just saying. Mean, all the fucking characters are there. Yeah. If, oh if you see Superman on Supergirl, we're um, that much closer to a Justice League TV show. Yeah, we need the uh, Tom Welling thing. Gotta reprise that role. If Tom man. Welling comes back as Superman, that'd be fucking dope. Because it, it's been a few years, so he's older, so it all makes and sense. Man, like he's not perfect. young look perfect. anymore. He would be perfect right about now. He'd be yeah. man or whatnot. So. I mean, they had fucking um, Dean Kane in there, and he was Superman at, at one point. I mean, he yeah, but his character apparently his character's killed off. Yeah. So, character. well, we don't know. Yeah, we don't. We don't know. We've been told he's dead, but yeah, we don't know exactly what happened. I mean, Martian Manhunter said he died. Because actually, it's funny. Um, the Martian Manhunter, the Henry, the guy he plays, 
actually in the comic books becomes um, like Cyborg Superman or the Incinerator is what he's called. So if you watch like the Death of Superman, Wait, he's like that he, robot oh, guy. I thought he's the Eradicator. Yeah, Eradicator. That's what yeah. it's called. Eradicator. I know it's Incinerator, Eradicator. I had the E right. <laughs> no, one's an E, one's an I. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. I had the, I had the sound right. <laughs> yeah, he had the phonics now. Phonics. Remember hooked on phonics? Sure. Like yeah. that shit. That I remember people talking shit. shit about it. Now hooked on phonics has been morphed into Rosetta Stone. Mm. I know you speak my language, Rosetta Stone. Mm. That'd be Stone. funny to have like a, a ebonics one. Oh, that'd be bad actually. No. Uh -huh. Like who the fuck is gonna buy an ebonics Rosetta Stone? Pretty sure Kanye would somehow try to flip that shit off. If he's not already. Oh, we didn't really talk about Kanye, and he went off on a music producer. Oh yeah, some like huge fucking music producer. Yeah, yeah. dude who's produced like iconics, like yeah, what, fucking uh, Grateful, not Grateful Dead, just like big ass bands. Mm -hmm. I think Metallica, Motorhead, something like that. Great, like a ton of people. He's like, been in the industry for like decades. Yeah. All of a sudden, Kanye wants to talk shit because he talked shit about Yeah, Kanye. because he said his album wasn't that great. He basically told him, like, hey, you're, like, he hasn't done anything great since, like, his first two albums and stuff like that. And this one was just okay. Mm. Yeah. And he's like, hey, who the fuck do you think you are? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he's like, I hate when old people, I hate when old people comment on stuff because they're out of touch and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Kanye, you're starting to sound out of touch. Yeah. With your craziness. Fucking that, that fucking weekend pussy it's taking his that's his wifey bro I know it's his wifey but it's still some weekend pussy <laughs> oh, according, according to cake man according to cake man cake man weekend pussy weekend pussy yeah but Kanye wiped it up yeah he's so, oh it's my wifey my waifu this, this shit's going down let me just oh a couple of kids in the room that time no pull out mm. she twice oh, what's his son's name like Saint or some shit like that I don't fucking know I think it's St. West. St. West? Northwest and St. West. There's somebody that says he missed out on a good opportunity to name his kid something. I can't remember what it fucking was. Oh, he should have called them Wild. Wild West. Wild, Wild West. Um, yeah. That's, that's reaching, bruh. <laughs> somebody, I didn't I didn't make this shit up. Somebody else had mentioned that. Like, he missed out on that opportunity. That's hilarious, nonetheless. Wild West. Wild West. North or they West, fucking North. Wild West. Northwest, Wild West, and St. West. East of West. It's Next year's uh, name. East of West. East of West. East West? Yeah. That'd be hilarious, actually. Fucking God. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what celebrities named them kids. Fucking weird ass names. Like they Apple do. and Apple shit. and Honor. Pillowcase. And <laughs> Blanket. Blanket. <laughs> That's fucked up. But it's Fuck. funny. Why, isn't there some guy trying to name his kid Magistator? Like, no, you can't name your kid that. It's... Masturbator? No. Um, uh, damn it. I fucking forgot. He's tripping, bro. It's basically the name for God. Oh, Mastodon or something? No. no. Metatron, whatever. Megatron. Like. Megatron. There you Metatron, go. not Megatron. It's, uh... Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Alright, people. Thanks for watching the Aftercast. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button over there. And check out the videos down below. Um, leave a comment if you want. Is there something you want Odin and I to talk about? Leave it in the comments and we'll definitely talk about it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.